Jefferson County is a wonderful place to live, visit, and conduct business. However, the county continues to face financial challenges that have a direct impact on the quality services and infrastructure provided. In 2020, the county made $16 million worth of cuts and another $8.7 million in 2021. These reductions have impacted essential services such as public safety, roads, and more. In 2023, the county faces an additional $20 million in reduced services. Without support from voters for additional funding, the county will not be able to deliver those programs and services at the same level. In order to understand how the cuts affect residents, it helps to know what the county does. The county's primary role is to administer state programs and state-mandated services. These are things like the sheriff's office and county jail, property assessment and tax collection, and licenses, permits, and vital records. Now that we know more about what the county does, let's talk TABOR. TABOR, or the Taxpayer Bill of Rights, plays a huge role in the county's funding challenges by limiting how much revenue the county is allowed to retain each year based on a predetermined formula. Unlike at the state level, the county level formula does not factor in population. Instead, it's based on inflation and the value of new construction. As a consequence, the county's TABOR formula fails to keep pace with the demand stemming from our increasing local population or the rapidly growing economy. The 2020 pandemic compounded the issue. Because the county received much less revenue than normal during the economic shutdown, the TABOR formula lowered the county's revenue limit by $14.5 million. Meanwhile, the cost of doing business and the demand for services continues to increase at a steady pace. This gap between revenue, or the amount the county can retain, and expenditures has been covered in the past by reserves in the county's general fund. However, those reserves are now nearly depleted. With limited revenue and depleting reserves, the county has had to delay and postpone many critical transportation and facility infrastructure projects. In fact, the mounting backlog of projects is quickly approaching $400 million. Without revenue solutions, spending reductions of up to $20 million will be necessary in the general fund just to balance the operating budget. And with limited resources, the county is falling behind in the job market to recruit and retain quality employees. These revenue challenges have consequences on county spending. That means there will be real-world impacts through the services the county is able to provide to the community. A few examples of the potential impacts to our community include reduced levels of service in areas like public safety or snow plowing. Roads and bridges will continue to degrade, and many people will likely experience longer wait times to process licenses and permits. These are just some of the impacts if immediate and structural solutions aren't put into place. Thanks for watching part one of our three-part series on Jefferson County's funding challenges. Part two addresses frequently asked questions.